Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Illustrator. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty difficult, it's certainly not as uh, simple as maybe like the brush tool or other things in Illustrator. Um, and Illustrator is really built completely off the pen tool because it's uh, all vector based imaging. So the first thing you should know about the pen tool is these following different points, um, just different symbols and uh, you can just read these yourself pretty simple some say like you can add or maybe delete a vector point um, etc and you just get to know these as you go um, they end up being pretty intuitive when you start using it so I'm just using this uh, thing I found online um, and I'll link to it uh, in my description on how you can find it too um, and it's just really a good training tool for this now let's start using the pen tool. I use the shortcut P. You can always click right here as well. Make sure you have it on the pen tool and not on these. So the easiest thing to do is simply use the pen tool for straight lines. And you're simply going to click. And you can see I'm just clicking as I go. And um, now you might encounter a problem if you're doing this along with me that um, it's like filling in the blanks. And the reason why that is is because this is actually a shape. You can see that this right here. I can now turn in different colors and stuff. Let's actually select this. I can turn it to different colors. So by default, a lot of times there is um, a drawing. And now if you were to create a shape, you can see that it automatically fills in by default. And that can make things actually more difficult. Because uh, let's say you have like a weird angle like that. Um, it fills in more, more area than, than really necessary. Now, uh, because this is uh, very annoying for future uses, I'm going to take that out. Another thing to keep in mind is the stroke. Um, and it's nice to have a stroke, just a simple black, and then make sure the stroke width is a, a nice dimension. The next part of this would be curved lines, and we're going to create a simple circle. So I'm going to open up my pen tool again. And what you're going to do is you're going to simply drag it out. And you can actually hold the shift key, and you can see if I hold the shift key, it goes to the nearest 45 degree angle. And you can see that this is actually curved. And the way it's curved is it's reading this line right here and it's figuring out how it works. If you do the same thing, you can see that it's now uh, adjusting it. I'm going to go in here and do this again. And again, and of course, again, now we have a perfect circle. Now, of course, uh, this needs to be uh, like that. The next part of this is multiple curves. The pen tool really comes in handy when you're doing stuff like this. So we're simply going to drag this and we can of course hold the shift key so we have a straight line up. And we can get this to be a perfect semicircle just the way we want it. You can see that it actually follows the lines. And it gets to be like that perfect curve so you really see that nice. And that's really what the pen tool does, you get these crisp crisp lines as you go. And I didn't release correctly. Yeah, that's okay. Now, this is actually a good point. Um, if you make a mistake, that's really okay. You can always use something like this
and you can actually delete what you did wrong. So we can go ahead and fix our mistake. And we can go ahead and get this arrow. And we have it perfect. The next thing to do is to do these um, with corner points. You can see that we're actually going to end this curve and it's not a perfect score, it's a, a nice little corner. So we're gonna do this is actually how I prefer to use the pen tool. And when I go like this, and you can see that I, I have this, I'm now going to just use the option tool, hold it down, and uh, now I get a select it. So I, again, I'm going to hold down the option tool I'm going to pull this down as I hold the option tool down and get this perfect curve. You can see that that is perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing over here and this is a bit more complicated. Simply going to drag this up. And we're going to hold this option tool again. Hold the option tool. We're going to pull up. And do it again. Now just to repeat, you're going to hold the option tool. Pull it up as you hold. And now go back over here and get this perfect degree. And one more time just to complete this tutorial. And we're gonna drag it down. Now we can select this tool and you can see that now it's the perfect little um, curves. Now uh, we can also combine this, these two features with uh, just straight lines. And now you're combining multiple things that we, we learned in the earlier part of this video. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Now we just have to hold down the option tool, don't drag it, and then you hit that. Now because we, we just clicked down and we released, you can fix that just by holding down the option tool, drag down, and select this. Let's do it one more time. Click with the option tool. And you can see that we have that. So you can see that there's actually a bunch of ways you could correct your mistakes if you do things incorrectly, which is really a great thing about Illustrator, is it really makes um, things very forgivable um, as you go. You can see that that's now Great. Now, this is one of the harder, the harder ones of everything, and this is to do like a very nice curve, and then you can see that it's actually gonna come around here, go around, and then it's gonna come back and do the other end. So we're going to simply start with our pen tool. We're gonna drag out here. Go right there. So you can see right here is actually something where uh, it's not good enough. So we can go ahead, use our, our white arrow to select this little dot. And let's go ahead 
and we can drag this out to uh, wherever we need to. Let's try. And we don't even need to follow instructions that much. We just need to match this curve. You can see that you can really do that with uh, this tool over here. Let's go back to the pen tool and we'll continue our work. I'm going to hold down the option. I'm going to drag right over here. I'm going to select where we want it to end. And the way you choose these without really these guides is where the, the curve starts to change. And we're going to do this. You can see that we actually messed up right over here. So we can just go ahead and play around with this a bit. And it looks like in the process I actually deleted the first vector. So that's okay, we can just recreate it by using the same techniques as we um, did before, holding the Option key and sliding it up here. And we're going to connect it with this. And when we, when we connect it, it's a bit harder because you have to do one more step. Let's go ahead and click this. See now we have a pretty rough version of exactly what they were trying to get. So uh, when it comes down to it, you just need to practice and practice and practice with this pen tool. Um, it could be very difficult um, to get perfect. Um, I know when I first started with the, uh, the pen tool many years ago, it's uh, it was definitely a, an eye opener. Photoshop also has the pen tool. It's slightly slightly different. Um, but if you understand the pen tool in Illustrator, you'll be able to use it. Um, it. It could be frustrating though, since Illustrator has a real, real lot more capabilities with the pen tool than Photoshop does. So when you move over to Photoshop from Illustrator, um, you start to realize, like, oh wow, it doesn't have this feature, it doesn't do this. Um, and vector, vector graphics are just not as convenient uh, with Photoshop. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. If you liked it, uh, feel free to subscribe to my future videos, and let me know what you think um, in the comments. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.